Morning. How y'all doing? That was me. I've been watching way too many American um, videos right now. I do apologize. How is everyone? Just, I know I'm a little bit late. I know a lot of you might be at work or what have you. Just give it like a tiny little bit of time before I start. Um, and hopefully I'm in the right group. I might just check that out actually. Hi Beth, am I in? I am in Dream Team, aren't I? I'm really hoping I am. <laughs> Hi. You know, my sister, I like to make my little so I don't know if oh anyone's gonna be around and oh sorry I'm a bit late hi Lisa I am in dream team aren't I just give me some hearts if I am <laughs> and I'll get started that's not covering that up at all right okay so today's topic guys we are we're getting serious now okay consistency is this is what today's topic about day seven consistency if you've made it to day seven and i don't mean watching live right now even if you're watching on replay if you're watching in two months time if you've made it by watching the video so far then absolutely huge huge applause to you because consistency even in doing these trainings like we see so many people drop off um you know, people, I know that everybody would love a magic formula. Everybody would. Everybody would love a magic solution on how to build a team. But unfortunately, there isn't one. It's hard work. It is hard work and it is dedication and it is consistency. So this is what today is all about. Most other subjects we can really, like, I add a lot of fluff to a lot of things I do. And when I say fluff, I mean excitement, passion, a lot of love. Like, I pour a lot of love into almost everything I do. But consistency is one part of your business that you can't fluff up. You have to take it really seriously. It is so, so important. It really is. Um, I'm going to be really real with you about it. And I know you probably feel like leaders talk about consistency all the time. You know, there's some great cliches out there that we all hear that are so, so true about going to the gym once and expecting results. Imagine if you brushed your teeth once. What would happen to your teeth? There's so many, if you ate a salad, there's so many um, things out there to make you realise that actually consistency does equal results. But I'm going to go a little bit more into detail today. And hopefully this will give you some, an actual system on how to be consistent. Because we all know that life happens. We know things go on. You know, it happens to all of us. We all know that. We know that consistency can be really, really hard to keep up at certain times. And then we know how hard it is to pick it back up again. Once you've dropped the consistency, you've then got to start again. Okay. So what we want to teach you is how you never have to, hopefully you'll never have to start again. You will literally be in a daily system of um, team building. It'll be one something you do every day and you'll be so consistent and I promise you, you'll see results. If you imagine your, dr your dreams are... Um, I locked in a box, just one second, sorry. I had a migraine yesterday and it's left me like patched today. Um, your dreams are locked in a box. So this is a little bit of fluff, but, um, and you, there is a lock, a padlock on it. The key to open that padlock is consistency. That key, consistency is the key to open that box with all your dreams in, I promise you. Each day we've given you, um, so, Every day we've given you a bite-sized chunk of things that you can implement and ideas and systems. And we've really like focused, we've put a focus into every day of how what you can now go and implement into your daily routine to grow your own team. And if you've followed every day, done the activities and then think, hmm, where's my dream team? It's not here yet. No, it probably won't be because you need to be consistent. You haven't seen results. You've, you can't decide it's not worked just because you've tried it. It doesn't happen like that. You have to be consistent. You think, um, I'm going to use a bit of an analogy here, whatever the word is. So you think of um, a relationship. 
So use this as, um, use this comparison, what I'm going to describe here as your relationship with your audience. So think of, I'm going to say my husband. I love my husband. I love him very, very much. But I didn't love him the day I met him. I probably didn't love him the second day I met him. In fact, I didn't actually like him very much when I first met him. I remember saying, he's a slime ball. Like, how bad is that? I didn't like him. But over time, I couldn't tell you when I actually fell in love with him. But over time, I our relationship, our consistent relationship and daily little actions of things that we did to grow our relationship that I, f I couldn't tell you when, but I fell in love with him because of a consistent relationship. It didn't happen instantly. That's exactly the same as your audience. Just because you've made the decision that this is what you're going to do, this is who you're going to be, it doesn't instantly connect with your audience. Your consistency will build that connection. You consistently doing all these actions, you consistently implementing this into your business will build that. I, if I'd met my husband once, if I'd seen him once, then I would never ever have married him. Like I would never have fallen in love with him. And I would, you know, we wouldn't be who, uh, we wouldn't have this life that we have now. We wouldn't have um, our children, you know, all these things, everything in your life takes a, like a, a small daily actions over a consistent amount of time. So there are going to be times when you have that instant connection with your audience. There are going to be times where somebody reads your post and think, oh my God, I literally want to do this. And they click that join. I, tell, I promise you now, there are going to be times where you have impulse joiners and people are going to join your team and they're going to do it on an impulse. That's going to happen. It's going to happen, but it's going to happen when you consistently work. It's not going to happen um, just from one post. It's not going to happen just from following these 10 days and never do, and then never doing anything ever again. These 10 days need to be in your system from now on. The majority of people who you bring in to the business will be down to your consistency. So how do you stay consistent? I know it's tough. Like, like I said, I know sometimes you don't feel like it. Consistency is showing up to your business on the days that you feel like it, but also the days that you don't. The days where you don't want to. Sorry. Um, if you had a job at a um, in an office, if you didn't show up to work that day, then your job wouldn't get done. If all, they would have to find somebody else to step in and do your job. No one's going to step in. You've bought a sensi business. When you sign that ID number and that password into the workstation, that is your business. Nobody else has got those two things. Nobody else has got that ID number. Nobody else has got the password. Only you. And oh my God, how powerful those two things are. How powerful that ID number and that password is. Nobody else has got that. There's only you. So no one else is going to step in and think, oh, she doesn't feel like working today. Oh, she's not very well. So I'm going to step in and do it for her. If you've got family that do, then great. But no other consultants uh, with the skills that you build as a consultant are going to step in and do your job for you. It's down to you. You've got to, got to, got to show up on the days that you don't feel like it. That is consistency. Not just sharing the product. We need to not like this is one thing that I really hope people get from this, that we need to not just share the product. We need to also be sharing the business, the product and the business 50-50. We need to be consistently sharing them both. So I know it's not always easy, but I promise you it's worth it. Nothing, nothing worth having is easy. It's a proven fact that if you do something, if you do an activity for every day for 21 days, um, it'll become a habit. So Lisa, you, Lisa, um, me and Lisa were chatting and she said that her mum told her to, um, I'm guessing, we didn't actually go into it, but I'm guessing that um, she used to panic about hair straighteners, leaving them on. And her mum told her, if you just for 21 days force yourself to put your hair straighteners away, then it'll become a habit. And it has. That's exactly what it's done. So just commit for 21 days. Commit for doing something from this dream team for 21 days in your time implementing it into your business for 21 days and then it'll be a habit and then when it becomes a habit 
that is when absolute magic will happen. Commit to the team building activities every day. Commit to a power hour. Commit to um, talking to somebody, contacting somebody, building relationships with people. Just commit to doing something every day for 21 days and then just see it become a habit. Just see it become part of who you are. Um, you know, like just it, it's absolutely groundbreaking. Um Make a plan and make a goal. Your goal needs to me mean a lot to you. It needs to be important to you. Your goal has to make you, um, you want to do these things every single day because you're going to get no's, you're going to get knockbacks. I mean, if you think even anyone in the business at any point, if you think that they don't get knockbacks, you're sadly mistaken. Everyone gets knockbacks. My grandma, like I feel like I really proved Sensi as a sustainable business, sustainable business. My grandma will still not have it. She's still convinced it's a con. She will never congratulate me. She will never, ever say I've done well. She will never say, if anything, she just says that it's a con and it's about, it's um, a negative things about the business. There is always, always going to be that. Like, I feel like I've, she's watched my life change because of this business and she still won't have it. She still will not have it. She's still so blindsided by the myths of network marketing so and obviously I have a relationship with my grandma obviously I hear these things that she's saying on a regular basis obviously I know how she feels but do I let it stop me no absolutely not in fact it drives me more it drives me so much more because I so like I'll never stop trying to improve my business. Never, ever stop. I will never, ever like lose the commitment to what I have to my, to my Sensi business. So you need to learn how to stay motivated because motivation and consistency are so closely connected. Your motivation will drive your consistency because if you're motivated, you'll be consistent because you'll be taking actions and if you're consistent then you'll and you're consistent over a period of time you'll be seeing results therefore you'll stay motivated as leaders one of the main things we try to do is um motivate people because we know that when people are motivated that people take action we know that consistent action consistent motivation equals results then they'll get what they want they will have successful businesses we know how important all those things but if you're if you're not focused enough on what it is you want and being and and how where you want to um, go with this business, you're not focused enough on what you want to do. Like I know we haven't really discussed your why because this isn't really what this is about. But you need to be focused on what you want from this business because if you're not focused on what you want, then the knockbacks and when you don't see results like you think that you deserve, your motivation will just wither and die. And motivation and consistency equals success. Your mindset and your consistency, those two things together are like the absolute key to success. Complete, like that's it, mindset and consistency. So we work really hard trying to motivate people, but obviously you... I, I'm very self-motivated. I motivate myself on a, 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 I'm very able to motivate myself. I know that I, if I don't watch motivational videos, I know that if I don't um, read books, I know that if I spend time with the wrong people who don't make me feel good about myself, I know that my motivation will die. I know it will. So I have to, have to, have to make that commitment to consistently working on my motivation. So I consistently work on my self-development. Something that I talk about a lot, something that I'm very passionate about, but there's a reason for it because it's changed my life. My self-development has literally changed everything for me. So I have to be consistent with that. But don't only be committed to being consistent in your actions. Like your actions are really, really important. But if you're just doing the same actions over and over and over again, consistency, and you're not seeing anything, any results, then you're missing another part of the formula. There's a saying, and I should have written it down, but the definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the same results. Because what happens is this business is not only 
a um, a direct sales business. This is a self-development company. This business doesn't only grow people's income teams, everything else, it grows people. It grows us to the most best version we are that we could possibly be. It grows us to, you know, th that's what the company's all about. So if you're not only being consistent in your actions, but you're also being consistent in self-growth, your, your actions will improve. Because as you're consistently taking action, you're also growing and you're improving and you're doing new things and you're adding new things to that. And that is going to see more new results. Like the first post I put on um, about Sensi, joining Sensi, like I've developed my skills a lot more since then. It's about and my, the way the first live I did when I first started talking to people live, it was like, I remember just being like, oh my God, I know you probably don't want to hear me talk, but now I'm like really passionate about it because I really want to be able to um, help people as much as I can. It's about that self-growth. So as you're, if you're consistently taking action and you're consistently committed to growing, then you're going to see absolutely insane results because your actions will become more meaningful. They will be have a lot more power behind them. Yeah, at first, you, you're probably going to do some posts that are... are not great your first live video will probably be not great but if you're consistently committed to keep trying and keep going and keep going and keep improving then you're going to see phenomenal results you've got to think about um so here's an example when i um when you pass your driving test are you simply because you've been given this certificate saying yep yeah, she's passed the driving test are you instantly like the best driver on the road no i remember passing my driving test been really excited getting in my um, now husband's car and I stalled in the middle of a roundabout and caused absolute chaos and I just sat and cried. I literally just sat and cried my eyes out. I was 19 years old. I was an absolute wreck. I'd been given this certificate that said I could drive, therefore I could drive. No, I needed a lot more practice. I needed to make a lot more mistakes. I needed to keep going a lot more before I actually didn't do that kind of thing again. If there was a surgeon, if you um, were going to have an operation or somebody you loved was going to have like a life-saving operation, if you knew the surgeon had been given a certificate to say he could do the operation, but he'd never actually done it before, would you let them do it on you? No, you want somebody who's been consistent, who's ha who's made who's made these like done the surgery several times before, who has improved just because they've been given the the degree or the certificate or whatever they get to say that yet yeah, you can go do this operation. It doesn't mean that they're instantly going to be amazing at doing it. They're going to have to do it several times and they're going to have to do it consistently over a matter of time. So what I'm saying is. We've given you, with this um, academy, we've given you the skills and the trainings and all the things that we feel that if you consistently implement them into your business, you will see um, the things that, you know, they're tried and tested, the things that me and Lisa have done, that we've got our heads together, the things that me and Lisa have done. So what we're not what I'm saying is just because you go do exactly what we've said doesn't mean you're going to have instant results. But if you if you consistently commit to not only doing the actions but also improving over time and doing them over like the next twenty one days at least for now let's set twenty one days because then it'll become a habit. If you consistently commit to doing that, then they will become part of your life and you'll do them every single and it'll become part of your daily routine. And once it's in your daily routine, it's absolutely phenomenal what will happen, okay? So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I hope that's okay. I hope that was, um, I hope I got my point across. So the activities today are, and I'll post them straight away afterwards, um, watch the live. Oh, and one saying I wanted to finish on is remember, 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 remember. The day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. Remember, from tiny acorns, mighty oak trees grow. Things need time. Things need to be done. Um, things need to be worked on over time before they actually turn into anything. So remember that. Remember, just because somebody said no. When I think of who said no, um, just for example, for my directors. So I think of Gemma, Gemma Webb. She said no at first. Uh, Melanie Hill, she said no. Uh, Heidi Westmoreland, she said no. 
Uh, when I think of who else, Gemma Glover, she said no. They all said no to me at first, but I was consistent. I stuck at it. I carried on with my business. I carried on um, telling them how great they'd be. I continued to do that. I continued to work on those relationships. And now look, the, like they're directors in Sensei. They're changing their lives. And they're, you know, they're part of my my group, which is absolutely mind blowing. That has happened because I consistently dedicated building my relationship with them and consistently took action every single goddamn day, every day, even the days where I didn't feel like it, even the days where I knew people were laughing at me and I knew they were saying it was a con and I saw that somebody had unfriended me. Even those days, even those days that were really, really hard, even the days that I had a migraine and I didn't want to get out of bed, even those days, I consistently took action. And that is how you see growth. Okay, back to the activities. So watch the live, submit um, feedback in the comments. Well, another thing we want you to do, um, oh, Annabelle, God, I love you, woman. <laughs> Um, another thing I want you to do is I want you to check your profile, your personal profile. Your personal profile is like, see, it's like your shop window um, where people get to know you. Would I know that you have a business, um, that you own a business if I looked at your profile? And would I know that I would be able to join you in what you're doing if I looked at your profile? Your personal profile, not your page, not your... Um, not your group or anything like that, like your personal profile. If I clicked on your profile, would I know that you're a Sensi consultant, that you own a Sensi business? And would I know that I could join it too? And I want you to go and have a look and see what you could add into there to make it. So if I did go and have a look, I'd know those things. And the third activity is, so obviously if you've engaged in the other activities, you'll have spoken to, you'll have been having some conversations. I want you to now, in the name of consistency, go and speak to them again. Go and connect with them again. Go make that, um, go keep working on that relationship with them. I just want you to add a little bit of consistency into there to let it grow. Not just one spammy message and then never again because they didn't respond how you want them to. Just work, that, work on it consistently. And I want you to find five more people. I want you to find five more people who you can build a connection with. Um, you're growing your network. You're not just out there, look, you know, you, you, obviously we've got our opportunity goggles on, but what you're doing is you're growing your network. You net, we're in network marketing. So you are growing your network. You need to be spending time growing your network. Like when I, when I see somebody who is um, like in momentum, like momentum, I love that word, absolutely love it. And um, when I see someone who's in momentum with their business, um, for example, my sister, my sister right now has really, she's celebrating her first anniversary today, so happy anniversary meal, um, but she is in momentum, right? When I speak to her, when I have conversations with her, she's like, oh my God, I'm talking to this person, I'm talking to that person, I'm doing this, oh, and this person's going to speak to them. She's growing a network, growing your network, that is like the art of the business we're in, we're growing our networks. When you're actually... If you want to see growth, you have to grow your network. So that's what we want you to do. Check in with the people you've already spoken to. Just continue to build that relationship. And then I just want you to find some more. Find some more people to grow to. Okay. I hope that was all right. I do go so off piece. Um, but guys, I can see every day we have less and less people. I know people have commitments watching and... Um, like reacting to the videos like we expect that we know with these programs um that people will drop off after so many days i think day five is usually when you see the biggest influx of drop offs so if you're still here like i say if you're watching live if you're watching replay if you're watching in two months time then absolutely you guys are i promise you i promise you promise you that you guys are the ones who are gonna absolutely smash it you really are. Being committed to these trainings is going to see you huge results, I promise you. So absolutely, me and Lisa are so grateful to the, those of you who are sticking with us because we know that this is going to help you. And then if anyone comes to me from now on and says to me um, that I've tried everything, I'm going to say, have you watched the Dream Team Academy? Have you watched it? Go watch it. Go do what we've told you to do over 10 days and then go implement it for 21 days and then come back to me because it's literally, we feel so passionate about it. Okay, 
right, I'm going to go. And I'm sorry for waffling, but I love you all. All six of you. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye.